This magnificent portrait of Al Anouri, ambassador to the ruler of Morocco, forms part of the research and cultural collections at the University of Birmingham. We're lending the portrait to the Metropolitan Museum of Art to be part of a superb exhibition called The Tudors, Art and Majesty in Renaissance England. This wonderful painting of the Moroccan ambassador to the court of Elizabeth I usually hangs in the Shakespeare Institute because it's one of the most vivid souvenirs we've got of the London in which Shakespeare was living around the time he began to think about dramatising a little Italian short story about a Moorish warrior working for Venice. Uh, his name was Abdul El Wahed bin Masud bin Mohammed Anoum. He had this radical proposal that Morocco should form an alliance with England to drive the Spanish out of southern Spain and make it Muslim again, um, you know, which would have changed world history quite a lot. Um, it didn't happen, partly because Elizabeth died and her successor, James I, made peace with Spain, but partly because Anouri himself ran into trouble at home because it was discovered that he'd been brought up as a Christian and had then reverted to Islam so that he only had the status of a convert. And that question about whether somebody is really of one faith or really of another in the context of uh, warfare between uh, Christian nations and Islamic nations is something that haunts Othello. And the word Barbary, the word Mauritania, which are very much associated with this embassy, uh, keep creeping into the play. So this is somebody who sort of stands in the background as Shakespeare is conceiving Othello. We will, of course, miss having him in Stratford, but he'll be acting as an ambassador to the university and representing our university and our collections on a global stage, where hundreds of thousands of people will get to see him and hear his story.